Hey everyone, my name is Eric Childs. And my name is Jonathan Trevor Pierce. And we work here in the international office. Um, and today we wanted to create this video uh, as a tutorial for how to use Blackboard. Uh, Blackboard can be confusing at times, and so uh, our purpose in making these videos is so that it would be a simple and easy way for y'all to see how to kind of navigate through um, this tool that's going to help you use your classes. So I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everyone, it's Jonathan. I'm super glad that you all have decided to tune into this first uh, video in our Blackboard Basics series. So in this video, we're going to cover the simple steps of how to find and log into your Blackboard account. And so you're going to want to go to your browser, um, preferably Chrome tends to be the one that cooperates best with the Blackboard website and whatnot. So we're going to be using Chrome today, but you're going to go to your browser and just type in DBU one login. And so you're going to kind of get a page with results like this. There's one that says login Dallas Baptist University, click that. And then you're going to go down to students and log into my DBU. Okay, so you're going to get to this page right here and you're going to type in your username. And so your username is probably going to be some kind of combination of the first initial of your name and your last name followed by the last four digits of your student ID number. And so then you will have a customized password that you made and you'll type that in and it should take you straight to the login. However, um, DB uses the one login app um, to kind of certify that you are the person that is supposed to be logging into this account. And so um, we'll skip this for now, but it should bring you into a, a, a screen like this. And this is going to be your basic intro to Blackboard. Hey everyone, Eric here. Thanks for tuning into our Blackboard Basics series. Uh, as Trevor just mentioned in the intro, he showed you how to log in. So I'm going to show you what it looks like once you've typed in your credentials and you're able to log in. So you'll, it'll pull up to this screen here. You're going to click on this right here, the Blackboard Online Classes icon. Um, and it's going to load you into Blackboard. So this is what you're going to see right off the bat. You'll be here at the institution page in this top area right here. So if you kind of scroll down a little bit, it just gives you some different information um, about what we have on Blackboard. There's a little welcome video there. Um, we have online education, Blackboard hotline, everything like that. And then uh, we have the activity stream right here. And so this is going to show you just some basic updates about your class, maybe some assignments that might be due coming up soon. Your professors will post these things in sometimes in announcements or in their course materials post, and they will show up here. Here's your list of courses. Uh, so you can kind of click on this icon here and go back and forth between the view that you like best. Um, but it will show all courses that you're currently enrolled in. And so any time that you're planning to interact in a course, anything like that, um, you'll click on the, the specific course that you're wanting to work on, and it'll take you to that. Organizations here, this gives you information on CLS. If you're a recipient of the Christian Leadership Scholarship, we have DBU Library, Writing Center, Student Online Orientation, a whole bunch of cool stuff here about different organizations and things that you might be a part of and that you can use uh, to your advantage. You have your Blackboard calendar here. kind of operates very similar to a normal calendar, um, so most of you guys should be familiar with that. Feel free to mess around and look at that. You have a messages icon here as well where you can view messages. And then finally down here, we have grades. This will be important. Uh, some professors will utilize the grades um, tab more often than others. Um, for your final grades though, those will be posted um, outside of Blackboard and you will need to communicate with your professor to get your final grades. Um, and then last but least, uh, we have the tools icon and this shows you different things that you can also use in Blackboard. And then if you want to log out, you can just click the sign out button right here and log out when you're done. Hey guys, Jonathan again. Um, now that we are in part three of our series, we are going to kind of discuss how to access your classes in Blackboard um, and then the different kind of tabs that you'll find in your courses. And so to get to a class, any class you're enrolled in, you'll click on the courses tab. And this will show you all the classes you're enrolled in for this semester. Um, or if you're taking a mini class, it will also be in here as well. Um, we will click on one of these classes as an example. And so what you'll see is there'll be some tabs over here on the side like this. 
And the first one is going to be the announcements page. And this is where your professors will post announcements about what's going on in the class or if they have anything they need to communicate to the entire class that they want to post into the course shell, they're going to use the announcements tab. And so be checking here regularly to see if your professors are updating you on anything that you need to know. Um, the next tab will be the, tab, the syllabus. And this will take you to a link to where you will be able to access the course syllabus for that class that you are in. And so this will tell you kind of all the different things that the class has, whether it's the professor's information or it's a description of the course. You can see the books you'll need to, to check out or to buy for your course. There'll be a list of assignments and a breakdown of an overview of what you're going to need to complete to pass the class. Um, as well as at the bottom, most professors will post a schedule of the class going from start to finish. And so that's going to be what your syllabus covers. Again, your professors will go over that with you in the class. The next tab is going to be your course materials tab. And this is going to be where most professors post their sessions or their assignments or their work that you need to complete. And so this will mainly go week by week. See, this is session one, so this will be the first week. And then you'll have another session, another session following. And in each of these tabs will be stuff that you need to complete for that week of class. And so that's where course material will have most of your assignments and the things that you need to do for that week. Hey, everyone. Eric again here. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to access and create a class email and also how to interact on discussion board. To access your course email, click on the course that you would like to um, contact someone in. And so you'll pull up this main page right here with your course number. And you're going to click on this tab right here that says class email. So once you click onto this tab, you'll see this top message here that says course messages. You have your inbox here where you can see messages that have been sent to you. And this sent folder shows messages that you have sent to other people within this class. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on create message. And the first thing here is it says it indicates a required field. So you're going to click on who you want to send this message to. So if it's your professor, you'll scroll down to where it says instructor. Instructor means your professor. Um, and you will click on the professor. Now, just because you've clicked on them does not mean it's ready to send. You actually have to click this arrow over here that's pointing to recipients and put them in the recipients folder. This now means that your instructor is ready to receive and be the recipient of this email. Next, you have the subject folder. This is also required, so you'll type in your subject. Once you've done all of this, if you're ready to send, you can click Submit. And you can also at upload attachments on Blackboard as well. It's important to note, on Blackboard, in an email, you can only submit one attachment per email. So if you need to send multiple assignments or multiple attachments to your professor or to another student in your course that you're working with, you might want to do that outside of Blackboard because you'll have to send as many emails as attachments you have that need to be uploaded. Um, so now we're going to go back to this main course here and we're actually going to click on discussion board now. Okay, so now that we are in discussion board, again, you click on the discussion board tab, it'll say discussion board up here, and you have the different forums and descriptions of these forums. So right now, since we're in week one, we're going to click on discussion board one. And here you'll see all the people that have already posted what they call a thread. You want to create a thread if you're going to post in Blackboard and participate. And so before you do that, you can either look at other people in your course and read their responses and respond to them, or you can go ahead and create a thread. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own thread here. And you want to make sure you read this right here. This is what your professor is wanting you to talk about. It says, take a minute to introduce yourself to your classmates. What are some of your interests? Why did you take this class? Anything else you'd like to share with the class? Uh, and then you come down here, just like you did in the email. You'll type your text for what you want to share with your classmates. And then once you have typed your uh, response, you can go ahead and hit submit. And again, if you needed to post uh, any attachments for any reason, you can attach those here in these two sections. And then you can either save as a draft if you're not ready to submit uh, your post yet, or you can hit submit if you're ready. Kind of one last thing that we want to cover for you is going to be the collaborate tab. A lot of your professors, because of COVID, 
we'll have a flex class where you are in person sometimes and other times you're meeting online. Find the collaborate tab right here and I'm going to click collaborate. And so this screen's going to pop up and currently right now there's no sessions that are going on live, but there's going to be a little box right here that says the date that you're in. So it's January 20th, it said January 20th collaborate session. You're going to click on that and it's going to take you into a, a new um, tab up here on your browser and it's going to have an option for you to have your camera on, your microphone on, um, there's going to be chat options as well as a way to watch the professor as he or she teaches live in the class. And so that's what the Collaborate tab is going to be for. Hey guys, thank you all for tuning in to our Blackboard Basics series. We hope that these videos were helpful um, and simple in breaking down some of the complexities and things about Blackboard that can be confusing. And so we just want you all to have these as a resource. But also feel free to come by the international office and find myself or find Eric if you need, have any questions or need help with anything at all. We would be glad to help. And also make sure to check out IT or the Blackboard hotline that's on Blackboard that we showed you if you have any complicated Blackboard questions that we are not able to help you with. But we love you guys and hope you have a great semester. Absolutely. God bless.